Do you think President Trump ever, ever watches our show? Our, our show? This show? No. Yeah. No. Yeah. He, I, no, I mean, apparently he just watches Fox and Friends. Yeah, that's what I've heard. He just watches Fox and Friends. And that gave me an idea I want to do. Just a quick experiment, okay? Billy, do me a favor. Could you roll the Fox and Friends graphic, please? <laughs> okay. Now, maybe, maybe if he's flipping around and he just saw that, maybe President Trump might watch our show. Uh, look, that's kind of pathetic. You think that showing a cheap graphic is enough to get the president to watch this show? <laughs> Hello? Steve Ducey, it's Trump. <laughs> ah. <clears throat> yes, uh, hello, Mr. President. Thanks for calling into the show. My pleasure. Love what you've done with the set. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. We here at Fox and Friends love it, yeah. Yeah, but I have to tell you, I missed the hot blonde. Oh, no, no. She's right here. We have the hot blonde. <laughs> Hi, Mr. President. Thanks. Okay, thank so thank we have a lot to talk about, sir. Uh, hold on, Steve. Hold on. Which of these two ties do you like better? This one or this one? Sir, are you holding different ties up to the phone, Mr. President? Is that what you're doing? What? Uh, of course not. I'm not an idiot. I'm holding them up to the TV. <laughs> then in that case, I like that one. Me too. OK, hey, good. You see my rally last night? I played all the big hits. Jobs, Rocket Man, MS-13, Witch Hunt. The crowd went crazy. Yeah. I really think I could win this election. Yeah, sir, you, you already won the election. You're the president. You're the president. Wow. Wow. You know what? That's great, Steve. You see that? That's why you're my favorite news channel. You're not fake news. You're better than fake news. You're like fake, fake news. <laughs> I don't follow, sir. What's fake, fake news? Well, you ever see a woman with big, fake boobs? And you know they're fake because they're so big. I, I guess, yeah, sure. <laughs> OK, so your show is like fake boobs that don't look fake until you're really close, but then it's too late because you've got an erection and Cohen already paid. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Mr. President, let's talk about the big news story, OK? The really big news story. Yeah, it is big. The Big Bang Theory ending after 12 seasons. What a run. Congratulations, Chuck Lorre. Sir, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about Paul Manafort being found guilty of bank and tax fraud, Michael Cohen pleading guilty and saying you ordered him to pay hush money to two women. Totally agree, Steve. NFL players should stand for our national <laughs> anthem. Lock her up. Lock her up. All right, sir, people are describing yesterday as the darkest day for the American presidency since Watergate. Fake news. Are you saying Paul Manafort and Michael Cohen are fake news? No Watergate never happened. Nixon wasn't even president. What? He lost the election in 72 to Brett Michaels. He lost to Brett Michaels? <laughs> Mr. President, I have news for you. Take the graphic away. Take it away. I am Conan O'Brien. We tricked you. Wait, wait, wait. Steve Ducey of Fox and Friends is Conan O'Brien? No! <laughs> I'm Conan O'Brien. You're Steve Ducey? No, sir! <laughs> I myself am Conan O'Brien. Wait, let me get a closer look here. Oh, you're that tall, red-headed chick. You're a three. Four on a good day. Hashtag right. witch hunt. All right, thank you. Thank you.